Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good day to our lecturer, Dr. Razana Azrina. Uh, so today, uh, I'm a group member of Falcon Infinite, uh, which is uh, along with my two my fellow fellow friends, which is uh, Muhammad Ashraf and uh, Nur Shafiq binti Jaludin. We are. Uh, we are supposed, not we are supposed, we are uh, being given task to do some parts of uh, the assignment which is uh, regarding to um, the performance of, uh, of the well because we want to select the uh, right well stimulation method. Uh, so in this uh, assignment, we're going to take, uh, we're going to recognize the reason for the low production and how we want to uh, prevent and uh, choose apply the suitable uh, well st well stimulation method to increase the well production of the wells so uh, the task given uh, to us is uh, the topics uh, that we choose is about uh, uses of use of thermal insulation to prevent hydrate and paraffin wax deposition so i'm gonna tell uh, i'm gonna tell uh, i'm gonna present i'm gonna present about uh, the report that we have been through uh, during the the time given it's uh focusing on the thermal insulation to prevent uh, hydrate and wax, paraffin wax deposition. Okay, so for the introduction for this uh, this discussion uh, of the study, uh, as we know that the crude oil is the, our current primary energy source everywhere in the whole world, in the whole earth. So back to our focus topics uh, to this uh, study, which is we're going to focus on uh, hydrates and uh, wax depositions. Uh, let me know the definition of wax deposition and hydrate. Uh, wax deposition is uh, we know as some connection between crude oil with the surface uh, of the ultimate growth and the formation of the solid layers this because uh, we can detect some of the wax that are deposited into the surface uh, along the pipeline and the second uh, second uh, uh, second matter is about the hydrate hydrate uh, consists of wet uh, and light gas molecules this also can appears to uh, into the uh, pipelines and some disturbance might happen in there. So the thermal insulation we use to prevent these problems, uh, which is uh, the hydrate and the wax depositions. Uh, the insulations, uh, the thermal insulation is one of the methods in the thermal methods. There's, uh, there are the several methods uh, in this uh, uh, in this uh, prevention problem. So the insulators uh, are placed in the connections with the flow, which is uh, the pipelines itself. No, when the pipelines, the pipelines, we going we going to insulate the pipelines to get uh, to prevent the problem, which is uh, other. There's uh, several parameters that we need to be concerned to choose the right and suitable insulators. So the the use of this in insulators is to reduce the heat transfer between the internal and external of the tubing and uh, for these topics we are going to have three objectives which is first is to observe how hydrate and uh, wax deposition occur secondly to identify the components that involve in uh, thermal insulation methods and to see how this insulation method can prevent the problem. Okay, first of all, we are going to 
we are going to look at the hydrates. What is uh, hydrates? Hydrates, uh, this presence uh, of water and also present at a low uh, temperature. Uh, the gas hydrate is uh, also known as a uh, clartrate, uh, which is consists of wet and light gas uh, molecules. Uh, like I said before, it's uh, in the presence of water and the, the, the what we call the low low temperature. Uh, this uh, natural gas is formed in the pipelines and, and also at a pressure condition, which generally at low temperature, and uh, it is correspond to the high condition of temperature. Uh, so, uh, looking at the conditions, the presence of gas molecule is uh, happen uh, at temperature is higher than the ice. So that is the hydrate will exist. Uh, at a room, temperature is the dominant factor for the hydrate because it is due to extreme cold weather temperature. And uh, in the other hand, uh, hydrate cannot be formed at a high temperature because hydrate temperature cannot be greater than the hydrate equilibrium temperature where it is uh, equivalent to the local pressure. Uh, we can say that it is uh, quite impossible to occur uh, in the steady state uh, condition. And then we look into the about the uh, uh, subcooling. So uh, how the hydrate occur? Uh, this is when the if the subcooling increase, the time required for the hydrate to form will decrease. Uh, so in this context, the subcooling is like the difference of temperature of hydrate stability and the temperature that uh, operate at the same pressure. Then we move to the uh, paraffin wax deposition. What is the wax uh, deposition? Wax is uh, made of a solid wax and is, it is trapped liquid uh, that it also a gel, not a solid wax. So quite same with the hydrate, the main factor that contribute to the uh, wax deposition is the low temperature which uh, in the inlet coolant uh, temperature which, uh, which is uh, the research, the research uh, state that uh, where the surface temperature is lower than solvent temperature and the solution cloud point. So then the, the, the wax deposition will occur. So when, when there is an increasing in operating time, so that the wax uh, deposition will also increase. And as that happen, automatically the flow, the flow rate uh, will be decreased. So, uh, this is, uh, will, will be the same to the hydrocarbon hydrocarbon components where when the hydrocarbon is light uh, then it will be the first to leave the reservoir uh, as there is decreasing of the both pressure and the uh, what we call the wax uh, solubility and the paraffin wax uh, which is uh, was deposited at the surface uh, that we can call we know the wax uh, it, the surface of the pipelines along the pipelines it will uh, appear deep or deposited at the surface which is uh, at the pipe structure they will coat it alongside the 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 flow line which is uh, influenced by the some several uh, several factors okay next we move to the uh, effect of this uh, problem the wax deposition and the hydrates which is the main effect of the hydrates and uh, this wax deposition is it can cause the blockage of the piping equipment it is mainly involving the flow line rupture and also worse that will cause the process accident since the pipeline have been blocked and the flow is disrupted the blockage also will cause uh, time consuming in order to remove the subsea equipment and it also affect the safety issue there is many things that we need to consider that we need to uh, what we call we need to we need to manage that we have we uh, to remove the blockage so that we can produce and uh, uh, 
and prevent uh, the pipeline uh, the flow line that will be have a good uh, well production this also will lead uh, to some uh, precipitation uh, this pre uh, precipitation happen when there is the coolant temperature drop below the wax appearance temperature and it will cause artificial blockage which is uh, artificial blockage which it will cause the problem to the production uh, such as uh, this uh, the point number four is reduction and interruptions the so the abnormalities will also occur in the well when there is restriction of the flow uh, of the crude oil okay now let's move on to the uh, preventive measures 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 for hydrate gas and uh, wax deposition uh, there are few preventing measures that need to be followed in order to prevent the hydrate from occur in the oil and a gas production the firstly uh, that we need to do is the strict risk assessment regarding to the hydrate uh, formation uh, which this can help to identify that what risk regarding to the formation uh, of the hydrate and also uh, we can prepare some preventing preventing method to prevent the hydrate uh, from forming in, in the well so uh, the next uh, we it is needed it, it is needed to find out the a method of evaluation and the prediction uh, of the probability of hydrate formation in any operating condition so by doing uh, by doing this uh, evaluation it will much uh, easier uh, easier for the 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 workers the engineers to prevent the forming of this hydrate hydrate gas since uh, the early step uh, could have been taken uh, and actually uh, to prevent uh, the hydrate gas uh, using insulation the first is need to do is to determine the hydrate depression points for the composition of the fluid. Uh, so the calculations and the, the all the parameters evolved uh, were calculated in the software which is we call the flow line software to choose uh, the insulation material and suitable insulation layer thickness using a pipeline insulation as a, as a what we call as the base design. So uh, sorry this is uh, the the point is not included in this slide uh, the criteria for the uh, the design was to make sure that there will no temperature drop temperature drop less than uh, 26 degrees celsius at any point uh, along the pipeline uh, as the flow assurance are required so with the analyzed uh, insulation material the required uh, thickness of the uh, insulation uh, at the pipeline is to prevent hydrate formation and the blockage of pipeline during transmission was uh, can be uh, estimated so the the software the flow line software will analyze to find the pipeline heat losses for different insulation materials and thickness so that after that we can compare the uh, excessive thickness and of the isolation uh, and uh, which is that can avoid the hydrate forming in the pipeline uh, for the for the better better outcome okay now about the present preventive measures for the wax uh, deposition which is uh, there are the few preventive measures that could be identified to prevent the wax deposition uh, from causing the problem to the pipeline one of uh, it is combined all all three method of remediation uh, which is chemical uh, mechanical and also thermal remediation method so this topic we are focusing on the thermal remediation method which is thermal insulation uh, besides the aside of using the mechanical and chemical uh, we can say that the thermal method is more economically to be used of the offshore drilling and ocean floor completion and uh, for the wax deposition we use um, with the thermal remediation which is the constructive heating uh, from the uh, insulation 
okay because the insulation is we focusing on the heat heat loss between the internal and external so when we when control the uh, the heating the bottom home heating and the diffusion of steam uh, along the pipeline so from that we can prevent the wax or uh, the uh, the wax and the paraffin wax or uh, from deposited so usually this uh, heating method the thermal uh, heating method usually is suitable use uh, for deep waters uh, and then we're gonna take a look at the at this specification or what we call the components that involve for the thermal uh, insulation which is like uh, the the insulation is like the conductor for the, the for this uh, pipeline so this is uh, normally includes uh, the filling the insulation insulators filling the annulus totally or mostly with a low thermal conductivity material which is to avoid the avoid the heat loss because we are dealing with uh, heat transfer from the uh, of the pipeline so this method is uh, consistently attractive in light of the fact that it teams up in keeping up uh, the uh, oil temperature so the second is about the coating material coating material uh, also we need to be considered uh, as uh, depending on the conditions uh, of the well and the condition of the what we call the situation uh, in the well so the covering material uh, usually likewise be artificially inactive uh, against grating uh, to be specific uh, like uh, wax, uh, saps, asphaltins and uh, the scales okay then we look uh, we look into uh, the wet insulation we have two different uh, insulation which is wet and dry which is usually for using for the uh, to prevent the wax deposition okay first of all we we take a look at the wet insulation the wet uh, so the wet insulation uh, does not need any contribution of vitality for example for works and the thermal um like the study the glass synthetic polyurethane or we call as uh, gspu is the common subsea wet insulation uh, material it very well may be utilized to hold heat in the jumpers and equipment uh, giving the value uh, at the desired value so this uh, wet insulation is straightforwardly covered covered to steel pipes and stacked on the seabed presented uh, to the seawater uh, and then the last is uh, pipe in pipe dry insulation uh, so as you look at the picture it is the dry insulation pipe in pipe dry insulation that's the picture and in this system uh, a channel is embedded inside another pipe there's another pipe we're going to channel the pipe inside the pipe for example uh, as you can see this uh, picture uh, an aerogel dry insulation material is inserted uh, in the center of the road annulus and is protected from hydrostatic weight and water infiltration by an external pipe so from the having a low thermal conductivity this uh, aerogel insulation permits the plan of pipelines with general uh, thermal move coefficient essentially low without trading off the general outer elements of the PIP system the pipe, pipe in pipe system or, or we call it PIP system so dry why we call it is dry because uh, we can see that the air hole exists between the external channel and internal distance across the external between an external surface of the insulation and contributes the warm opposition of the system which is this is external external pipe uh, this is an internal pipe so there is space between this pipe uh, so that we call it dry this is no uh, no some uh, what we call there's no there's nothing between that it also can be as a uh, insulation
Okay, so the for the the conclusion for this study is uh, the study has shown that the hydrate and paraffin wax deposition still become an uh, issue or the important concern to through the well uh, the production field. So the we can conclude that uh, the recent uh, advance in non chemical flow waste and technologies need to be developed uh, thermal management for the mitigation of hydrate and wax problems especially for the deep water well for the insulation material determination the primary basis is to distinguish the hazard hazard area properly if the material is to be picked uh, the sort of uh, insulation could be changed relies upon the reproduction result uh, indeed uh, even financial matters assume significant jobs to decide the reasonable insulation for the particular all around dependent on the spending requirement. Uh, however, uh, actually there are many ways to dealing with hydrate and paraffin wax deposition instead of using thermal insulation, thermal insulation such as uh, we use the chemical method, uh, mechanical method and so on. Uh, however, it depends. It depends of on for the the operation, and depends on the situation. But uh, on this report, on these uh, topics, we are going to discuss only about the thermal insulation. For the recommendation for these uh, topics, uh, despite of using of uh, chemical inhibitors, dual pipelines, and minimize speaking frequency. There is a way to help prevent the depositions, which is uh, by pairing the PIP, the pipe in pipe insulation, with electrical. That just now we uh, we just use the PIP system and like wet system like that. But that recommend is we combine we we combine or pairing the PIP insulation with electrical. Uh, study showed that this operation is flexible and high efficiency. Uh, some industry also suggests uh, about the pre prevention of deposit risk uh, also can be done by controlling the flow rate uh, if there is some low quality insulation characteristic involved so the topics uh, uh, the main point is uh, about this prevention is this method uh, must be done properly so that the the operation the company not, uh, must try to manage the operation with uh, suitable preventive measures that are available in the field operation. So as we know, there is, uh, today is nowadays, nowadays is very uh, a lot, we, have, we got a lot of modern technology. So I believe, uh, it is believed that uh, we can uh, stimulate, get the, uh, stimulate the well method to achieve the good well production uh, as well as uh, we can increase uh, increase we can decrease lower get a lower operating cost because uh, the, you know the cost is uh, like the major concern in this field because and uh, yeah the 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 main the main focus is um actually we want to increase the production of the well okay uh, i think uh, wait uh, I think that's all from our group from regarding the topics of use of thermal insulation in preventing wax, uh, in preventing hydrate and wax deposition. Um, okay, this is a reference uh, stated. And uh, thank you. If you got any question, you can ask uh, ask all of my group members. And uh, that's all from us. Thank you.